Hi guys, today I thought I'd go through some base paints with you. Now, what I've done is mixed up some different bases that I use for paint pouring. So, this one here is going to be my pourer medium, which is British Paints. No, it's not. It's Torbman's. Torbman's Door and Trim in a neutral base so it's clear when it dries wiping out the camera so if you dip your finger in it rub your finger like that it turns clear so if you mix your pigments in with that when it dries your pigments will be exactly the same color it's close enough to um, as what you mix up in your little mixing cups. So see how that's nice and clear? So that's a neutral base. Then I'll just grab a rag for a second. Okay. Then what we have is a extra bright base, which is this one. So when you rub that between your fingers, it goes almost clear, but it's still got a bit of white to it. So it's pretty cool for fluoro colors or stuff like that. You can still use pigments in it, but it will take a little bit of the shine out of it. It's better for fluoro tube paints and things like that. It also pastels your colors out just a little bit. Then what we have is an accent base, which is this one here. So we dip our finger in that one. You'll notice how much wider it is. Rub that in and it stays white. It does dry a little bit clearer than that, but it stays white. So perfect for making pastel tube paints. So you can use normal tube paint colors and then make them into pastels. So what I figured I'd do is make up a couple of different colors and just show you the difference of the color when we mix different bases with it. So this is a fluorescent tube paint by Byron, which is just a cheapy type paint here in Australia. It's like three or four dollars a tube, so it's cheap. So what we'll do is mix that with, um, what shall we use? We'll use the neutral base first. So you can see the color of that purple. We'll mix neutral base in. Now, all these pour and mediums I've made up are three to one with Joe Sonia gloss varnish in it. Okay, so we'll put some of that in. Mix it up without taking the camera out. So when you mix that up, it's still almost identical to what came out of the tube. As it dries, it should be the same as what comes out of the tube. So that's the first one. Now we'll do the same thing with the accent base. No, we won't. We'll use the extra bright, which is the good one for fluoros. So we'll go extra bright. Put some of that in. Oop, hit the camera again. Nice job. Give that a stir. 
Hopefully you'll still be able to hear me because we've got a huge storm rolling in at the moment. It's either 50 degrees one day or pouring down the next. So you really can't win. Now, when you see that colour there compared to that colour there, that's actually brighter. When you see it in the flesh, you'll see it's a, a brighter colour. So a lot of the times when you see a lot of my really bright colours is because I've mixed it in with this type of base and it, it does make them quite a bit brighter. Okay, next one we'll go to the accent base which is good for making pastels with. Don't use pigments with the accent base because all that beautiful shimmer and shine will vanish. Neons you can get away with, like your neon pigments, fluoro pigments, you can get away with that. It pastels them out. But anything that's got a shine or a shimmer to it, it eats the colour away. Which I will show you what I did with some fairy floss in a moment. So there we go. That's the accent base. Mix it up. As you notice, that's getting lighter and lighter as you mix it. That's because that base has titanium white in it. Okay. So when you look at that colour there, compared to the previous colour, that one's pastel, and that one's not. So just by using different ones of those bases, you can change the colour of your paints. Um, pigments. If you use an accent base with your pigments, I'll show you what happens. This one here is this little piggy fairy floss, which is with a neutral base, and it's pretty much identical to what comes out of the jar. As it dries, it's pretty much identical. Okay? When you mix that little piggy, poor thing, with the accent base, it pastels it right out. But it takes away 95% of all the shimmer and shine. So, if you're looking for bling, don't use an accent base, it's going to absolutely kill your pigments. So, that's what that is with the accent. That's the little piggy with neutral. So yeah, just by messing around with different bases, you can change the colours of your paints quite easily. I hope that sort of helped because I get a lot of questions about different pouring mediums that I'm using and things like that. So. If you want your colours to stay true, use a neutral base, which is that one. If you want them to pastel a tiny little bit, get a little bit lighter, we use the other one. <laughs> Mental blank. Extra bright, that's it. So extra bright will make that a lot brighter as it dries. Really cool for your fluoros. 
neons, things like that. And then your accent, you use for your pastels. So, there you go. Just a handy little tips and tricks if you want to make pastel colours out of whatever you've got laying around. Alright guys, hope that was informative. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, bye for now, and I'll see you in the next one.